Hey, it's me, Pro Jared. Welcome back to Graveyard Keeper, as we still keep going on in our graves, since people are enjoying this so much. Uh, so, once again, I did spend just a little bit of time in between episodes just to help things out. It was mostly collecting resources and getting things ready, rather than making progress on stuff. Like, I collected up a bunch of extra stone, a lot of extra iron, um, just had made a bunch of planks collected up sand, did all that stuff, managed to get some limestone and like a single nugget of silver, which is exciting. Uh, started using the graphite to make uh, steel ingots. So I got steel ingots now. Just not a whole lot I can do with that yet as I still need one more blue experience points to learn steel weapons, not weapons, but equipment. I'm still holding on that, which requires me to research something that takes blue. So I'm gonna throw something else in here, uh, like all the f like firewood and stuff. Or all that coal. I grabbed a bunch of coal, threw that there. Okay, so that's good on that. Um. Oh, I can make. A couple extra iron ingots, all that metal scrap that I'm just carrying around. Not really doing much else with it. So I figured what we'd do for the most part today would actually be a little bit of exploring, because there's quite a bit of the map here that I don't have revealed. Like if there's anything past the Witch Hill, I could look there. Uh, this uh, northeast side of the town, east side of the town, south from the town. So. I'm gonna do that. I kinda wanna see if this looks like it might be something straight south from the home. I might look at that. I got a couple of corpses in there I need to, need to do. I got my pyres set up so I can burn corpses now for some quick money. Uh, how am I doing on money? Actually, I'm doing alright, aren't I? I've got, I've got eight silver. That's not nothing. Let's look down here. Are these vines anything? Nope, they're just spooky vines. I've got my weapon at the ready, just in case. I don't think I'll be attacked by anything, unless it's nighttime, we're in the bat shop. Is this more clay? It looks like it's just more clay. That's not exciting. Can I go this way? No? Okay. Well, what I thought or hoped might be a thing is not. So never mind. I can still do improvements to my graveyard, but I kind of want to just wait for the better stone cutting right now. I can do like the simple stone headstones and stone fences, but I know I can make way better ones pretty soon. I figured I would just go straight for that rather than making all the simple stone ones first and using all the supplies. So I'm gonna hold out in just a minute. Okay, so this is the witch hill. Look around up here a little bit. Oh, this is right next to my... Oh, I can dig these up? Which are... Plant. Oh, vine trellis! Oh, uh, this is where I can get my grapes and stuff going. Or wine! Hello, spooky tree. Probably wine. Let's keep going north from here. What's this way? There's some slimes. Hang on. I've yet to see red slimes. I've only seen the green ones. There's also supposed to be a dungeon. Oh, ooh, oh, burned down shed. Is this important at all? There's a single grave back here with a body in it. That seems specific. If I were to exhume that body, would I find a secret? It's not part of my graveyard. So I don't know if that matters. I don't think it affects my my personal graveyard thing. Oh, can I? Need technology. Can I like chop marble out of this? What is this? Or lime? So this is supposed to be the portal that can open up to take me back home. But I need to do stuff around here first. I wonder what technology I need to get that. Is there anything else around here? I was too spooked by the Inquisitor to really mess with it. Maybe up in this area? I just wanted to check it out. The 
Perhaps more to the east. A couple more toppled over pieces of some nice looking pillar. I feel like I should be able to chop that, but it doesn't seem so. Anything up in here? No. Okay. Well, that's the farmer's field. Which is the f north of the farmer's field, or the wheat farm. It shows a windmill on the map, which I don't think I've ever actually seen, so maybe we can go look at the... Maybe we can look at the windmill. And I've gone south to talk to the farmer. To buy seeds. Let's go up this way. What is this pile of trash? It is a pile of trash. Got it! I probably should have figured. Some berries, which I still haven't planted any of my own. My own. Is this, is this the windmill? Oh, hello, person that I've never talked to before. Greetings, the mill's broken, sorry. What, what is this? Is that a, is it a gopher? If you need something milled, you better go to the town. That's too bad, but I have nothing to mill. I live at the graveyard. Keeper, nice to meet you. I have some old reserves you may find useful. Like what? Oh, he sells flour. And then close to getting to tier two. I get so tired without any work to do. What is happening back here with this? Okay. Can I go in your home? Door is closed out of 80 reputation. Can I go in here? Repair the mill. Paper with calculations, wooden planks, and complex iron parts. It looks like it needs to improve the hammer to even do it. Okay, so I can repair the mill eventually. Well, I'm gonna write that down. That's another possible task. Doesn't seem too bad. Those are just complex parts, right? Yeah. Five complex, some planks. And a single paper of calculations. Which I'll just write down as calculations paper. And then I can get some super flour. Far superior to my own flour. But these have been properly milled. And it's night out, so this might suck. Grab some honey. Make more muffins. Yay. Does these anything? Oh, you just own all this stuff. Um, I can't tell if I can go into here. It seems like I could, because that's like a lot of cloud going into the middle of the map. Maybe not. North from here was... Some deposits, but not ones I'm allowed to take anything from. I should probably find a fishing pole. At first I assumed you could just make one, but may need to buy one? Since uh, the bishop still wants really nice filet fishes Yeah, this little sign saying, no cutting my trees. So I shan't. What is this? Where am I? Oops. Uh, map. Uh, is this... Is this the woodcutter's... thing? Oh, that rook up there? Oh. Oh no, this is something very different. Hello, sir. What is this place? This path leads to the mountain fort. No entry is permitted. Mountain fort, eh? Is that over here? How do I get permission to go to the mountain fort? I like forts. I smell something tasty and smoky. What is all this now? I should probably have a gypsy baron. The gypsy camp? Huh. I probably should have explored around far more than I did before. That's a wonderful smell. What smells so good? It's great, isn't it? That's why I come up. It's an old family recipe. Bring me some good fish fillets and I'll teach you. He also wants fish. Why do so many people want fish? But he could teach me a recipe, whereas the bishop is just a greedy bastard. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I marked that off. Camp, and there's something to the north. I can keep going east to look for stuff. Re 
really curious about that fort now. Maybe get some... Get some trebuchets or ballistas up in there? Is that more sand? Is, is this river sand or different sand? Because I've been using river sand. Is this like... Ocean sand? Nope, river sand. Which I have so much of, I don't know if I want to carry this around and take up precious inventory. I'll hold on to it for now. Where am I? Oh, here we go. Cliff, beachside. Another fishing spot, which again, don't have a fishing pole to do that right now. Can I chop these? Uh, hello, hermit? Dig? This guy must be crazy. You think I'm crazy? No, I don't think that. I'm just trying to stay positive. And I know what truly matters. What? Hey, you think you can understand? No, Dick, you won't because you can't see. Okay, I'll tell him a sweet lie. The only things that matter are peas and herbs. And nice sweet things. I'm sweet like honey. Bring me some honey, I'll teach you how to make cake. Cake is the best. How much honey do you need? I have some. Five honey pots? Wait, I'm sorry, what did you say? Ding dong, bing bang bong. Dig I am, am I? Seed oil. Ooh, he's got a rope. And hemp. I needed those for things. Hemp seed. Or well, I could just plant it. Well, maybe I'll just buy a little bit since I got some cash. And, uh, well, we'll take those seeds and plant those. Yeah, I'll take those. And if I can find enough honey, you can make a sweet cake recipe. That'd be tight. I've been using muffins. I wouldn't mind some cake, too. Question of the day, what's your favorite kind of cake? I mean, like, actual cake, not cheesecake. Or carrot cake. But cake, cake, cake. My answer is I don't really know. I'm not really a cake eater. Like, I've enjoyed all kinds of different ones. Angel food cake's fine. Ice cream cake. I don't know. Oh, apples! Can I take these? Fucking nope. God damn it. I need apples so badly. Oh, wait. I can take these. Where am I? <gasps> Lighthouse. I want these apples because I can make the berry juice with them. Nope, no. Idiot. I'm trying to steal more delicious apples. Not the fucking mushrooms. The apples. I don't know if the different colors mean anything. I saw the guy up there. Looks like he's got a really shitty garden. Grab a little few extra berries. Never know. Telescope? Okay, I'll go up and talk to him. Let's see what he's all about. I probably should have done all of this exploration stuff by, uh, like, episode three or so. But I was just so enamored with all the stuff I could do with the actual farm. I couldn't help myself. All right, hello, friend. Oh, the macro boy! You look like someone who desires, who desires to be a part of the, the magic world of... Oh, fishing. This is where you learn fishing. I found it! <laughs> Your fish are very tasty. Sponsors, my boy. I'll provide you everything you need and teach you how to cook fish. Uh, all I need is a rod. I'll ask you to bring some moths. If I bring in some moths, you can use moths to bait. And he needs that for a fishing pole. So, I need to learn that. Can you show me how to cook fish? You know I just grill it, but personally I like to slice it and fry the slices in oil. Then just pop fish sticks in your mouth. Oh, I can now do fish nuggets. Those are sticks. Fish soup, baked fish. When you eat fish, you start to think like a fish. All good fishmen always eat a lot of fish. What do you have for sale? I can also just buy one from him for two silver. He also sells quality fish fillets. So I could just buy these 
for all the different all the different quests I can do. Interesting. So he has a simple fishing rod, or for one silver more, I can get a good fishing rod. Look at what it takes to get moths. That was under farming in nature. Oh, it takes five blue, and I don't want to. Kind of need the blue for my for my steel stuff. Will you let me in? No. Okay. Mm, I don't know. Could also just buy one, but I feel like I have other things I want to purchase. Is there anything else in the map I can go? Oh, south from the town. Uh, I'm gonna warp to the town and do that. Uh, warp to. Oh, I can warp to the lighthouse now. Oh, cool. That's very useful. Once again, glad I did that. Oh, the merchant is here on for it is quake day. He has grape seeds. Nicer grape seeds. I know I can buy stuff, but I can do so much of my own. You could probably get through the game faster if you but what spot it. The path to the town is closed. Need a town pass. Right, okay, and then you need to do all the stuff with the at my graveyard to do that. Hmm, okay. So maybe I do have this just about... just about explored out. Hmm. Okay. Well, my teleport stone's got a while to go, so I guess I'll walk back. Okay, but... Write that down on my to-do list. Moths. Let's write down, need moths. I think I learned how to fish. Did you want some shit? I don't remember. Or are you just sad? I think you're just sad. Sad Potter. Sad Potter. 50 points. Down to the gravekeeper. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> now I was also doing a lot of stuff underground. Gotta find out this freaking key situation. Can I do any... Should I do any studying? Do I have anything I can study for blue? No. Not on me, so I might need more body parts? Oh, I've got... Sorry, I bought the hemp, which I can use to make hemp rope. And I need the hemp rope. Shoot. I need the hemp rope to make something. What was that? Uh, was it a crafting? Something needed the rope. What was it? Oh, heck. There's so many little building spots I don't remember. Oh, I can make candles with fat and beeswax. Which I have. Which I definitely have. Yeah, maybe I'll just, uh... Oh. That's a confessional. Oh. Oh, this is generates extra stories and faith. Oh, tight. Okay. Okay, well let me uh let me make some candles. It's got the faith. It needs fat, which I got plenty of. Rope, which I have. And it needed beeswax, which I think is back. Which I have back, I think I was just keeping it in the kitchen because I wasn't really sure what else I would use it for. But I guess I could just move them all over to, uh, to the graveyard. So I'll, I'll run back there and grab it and I can just take the underground path back to speed things up a little bit. Oh, these done being made? Good. But keep going. Got plenty of iron ingots to make. And a lot of fire to use. Let me drop some stuff off real fast. Like these ingots. And the sand. And I think that's it. E. I had one extra sand. I'm just gonna stir that. Okay, so I have beeswax in here. And only two? Oh. Oh, it's like rare honey drops. Oh, I had the honey to give the guy. So I can learn how to make cake. Did I take it? Uh, yes, I did. Okay. Let's make some candles. And then I can light up my grave, or my church. Make my church a little bit nicer. So I have nicer ceremonies. No, 
Spooky Snake is here. Who wants the key that I haven't quite figured out yet? Okay, so here. Candle! Make a candle. Boop. I have two candles. Can I do it again? Nope, need more beer packs. I don't think hemp is used for anything else aside from making rope, so I don't know why I bought five of them. It's fine. But hey, look at all this rope I have. <gasps> that gave blue! <clears throat> Technologies! Smithing! <laughs> Steel! Steel chisel and the iron hammer are now mine! Yeah! Mark that off my to do list, baby! Hell yeah! And then I can go straight to making steel tools! Oh my god, I'm gonna improve all my shit. <laughs> I also need an anvil number two to do that though. Alright, well, look forward to that in the next episode where basically I'm gonna improve everything so that I've got uh, all kinds of new tools. Can I research anything here? Is it just not really worth it? Maybe, okay, maybe not. Okay. Let's run back there real fast and just give it a look-see. So I need to plop down a new anvil and then I can make new tools. Let's go see what that's about. And then we'll wrap up the episode, but first, exciting times, okay. So the anvil two, I already got the things for, which I'm gonna destroy the old one first because I don't think I'll need that anymore. Uh, oop, not the furnace cancel. The, whoops, no, not, stop. There. Dang it. I actually made this shit out, point to iron ore. But I guess that's how you get it to cancel a thing you had it doing. That's good to know. So I'll destroy this and replace it with a fancy new iron anvil. New anvil. Stop. Let's move that garbage out of the way. Steel anvil! Yeah. Look, it's already created. Yes! And I'm gonna make my new tools. Which only needs sticks and oh, steel ingots and complex iron parts, which I got so much of. That. Oh yeah, baby. Upgrades are happening. Alright, so I'll, I'll spend time on this in between. So I get all the new tools, so you don't have to watch all that boring stuff, and I'll get on that. But yeah, steel upgrades are happening next episode, everybody. So don't forget to continue uh, liking the videos and leaving a comment and subscribing. As I continue this series, and we slowly make our way through it. And as always, thank you guys so very much for watching. See you next time! <laughs>